you can explore more of your favourite CBB shows on BBC iPlayer. As night falls, countless creatures migrate from one end of Vegisaur Valley to the other for one purpose. To pollinate the honeysuckle. Take us to the good stuff. <laughs> dark in there. OK, Team Maiden, who's up for going into the spooky, scary <laughs> jungle? <laughs> good news, they'll lead us to the good stuff. So much of the good stuff. <laughs> but it's getting dark and we could get lost. Oh. Hmm. Huh. But we won't get lost if we leave a trail we can follow back out. Yeah! And what better to leave as a trail than trail mix? Load up! Ready, trailblazers? Yeah! Let's go! Into the forest they go, laying down a trail of seeds and berries to help them find their way back home. Coconut dons have one of the biggest roars. Wow, I think we've just started a roar off. Even the sleepiest of vegisaurs can be encouraged to join a roar off. are incredibly loyal and would never leave a friend behind. Here we go! <laughs> the larger framed triceratops are not built for warm air baths. Plugging the other blowholes will push all the air through the main vent. OK, time to clean up and get some air. <laughs> Here we go! Wow, 
guess I really do need a warm air bath now. Maybe I need to rethink this. Huh? A coconut dog. When it sleeps, it's often mistaken for a very round rock. But when awoken... <laughs> these giants stand at nearly 10 meters tall and have three enormous nostrils. <gasps> which make equally enormous sneezes. <laughs> Triumph at last! <laughs> With a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour and the weight of a small car, when a young triceratops decides to butt heads, it's best to get out of the way. But even ginger is no match for nectar fossilized in amber. <laughs> While we get this open, you have got to try it. Encased in hardened tree sap, fossilized nectar gains complexity and concentration over time, making it the yummiest snack in all of Vegisaur Valley. Yeah. But it's a snack that's rarely enjoyed. The older the sap, the harder it is to crack. <laughs> Most Vegisaurs would just give up. But Ginger and the young P. rexes are not most Vegisaurs. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Uh. We need someone bigger and stronger. At a hefty 50 tons, the Brocosaurus weighs roughly the same as three buses. Ginger may not be a predator like the P. rexes, but there's one thing Triceratops know how to hunt. <laughs> Bingo! Sun blossoms. Mm. The sun blossoms' orange petals are rich Yum. in vitamins and make Triceratops coats mm. extra vibrant. Flyers. Ginger has disturbed this one by mistake. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you. Ow! Sensing a threat, its instinct is to sting Ginger. It's so <laughs> itchy. Uh, ooh, yes. Higher. No, lower. A bit to the left. That's the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Uh, oh. Oh, I need something to stop this itch. I can't scratch my nose forever. Huh? Apple flyers' tails are high in antioxidants that can soothe pain, wounds and itching, making them nature's bandage. I think it's might be the cure to my sting. <laughs> Calm down, the honeysuckle is empty, but it'll work as a trap. <laughs> I've got a treat for you. Today is a special day. <laughs> 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 
It's the Sunday Roast, the day potato dogs bathe in mineral-rich springs and stretch out to dry on volcanic rocks, leaving their fins hot, crispy, salty, and delicious. You haven't lived until you've licked a hot fin. But if we want to get close, we will need a... Huh? Plan. Wait for me! The salt covering them is high in essential minerals and irresistibly delicious to a variety of vegisaurs. But potato dons are low in patience. And that's why we need a plan. What? OK. Plan is like you're one of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm, you're right. You are a little small. <laughs> and this clever impersonation might just get past them. It's working. Get down. Huh? It's a cornosaurolophus. It has become separated from its herd. When a cornosaurolophus feels threatened or frightened, it sheds kernels, which creates the smell of freshly popped corn. You've got nothing to fear. But let's just get rid of these before the irresistible smell attracts the wrong attention. Hmm. Let's play sit down, close your eyes, and don't move. <laughs> Whew. Still frightened? Good. Let's get you back to your herd. Minty, Split, Wasabi, keep your eyes peeled and no sudden movements that will startle our new friend. Ready? <laughs> if the Cornosaurolophus continues popping, Ginger and the peas are in danger of ending up as snacks themselves. And quiet. No sudden noises. <gasps> Whoopsies. <laughs> <gasps> Follow me. Do you love sea babies? Well, you can learn, sing and explore with all your favourite Sea Babies friends like Number Blocks, Mr Tumble, Bluey, Jojo and Gran Gran and so much more. Why not ask your grown-up to download the BBC iPlayer app where you can watch all your favourite Sea Babies friends anytime, any way you like. <laughs>